So like, uh, just to, to give you guys a, a quick look at how I would do this if I wanted to do it. I don't know if I am. But this is like a brushed metal kind of texture. And so I can copy this uh, into the drawing. And align it with what I want to, to have that texture, which is that metal part at the top. And rotate that so that it lines up. And there is a very, very slight shift in the perspective. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna shift this up so that that matches. And then uh, select the metal. Once that goes in, hit the mask button, which is gonna remove that from everywhere else. And then set that texture to something like overlay. Now that's gonna put, a, it's a very intense effect. It's a little bit more than what I'm looking for. So then I'm gonna turn the opacity down. Cause I really want you to like barely even notice this. Like if you notice it at all, like it's, this is what I mean when I say subtle. Cool. Obviously if, um, if the texture itself is not black and white, then, um, uh, you know, you'd want to adjust it to, uh, a, a black and white probably. But, um, anyway, by keeping an overlay mode, it maintains all the existing colors and values that are already there. That's why I chose that particular mode. So hopefully that answers some questions.